Okay, hello. Hello, welcome back to the podcast. Hopefully that isn't too loud. Sorry. Energy's up. Energy's up, dude. The energy levels are high. Um, I figured if I tell myself that, you know, if I sort of speak it into existence, then um, I'll feel that way, you know? I'll, uh, I'll sort of... If if you say something, it's true, you know, manifesting the secret, you know, you know, that movie, the secret, that DVD, the secret that everybody was like, you got to watch it. And you're like, what's it about? And you're like, it's a secret. And you're like, hey, grow up. <laughs> hey, you're in your 40s. Tell me what it is. Tell me what the secret is. Hey, you have a kid. Don't keep secrets. <laughs> tell me what it is. Maybe is that it? Am I too old? Is that a reference that goes over my audience's head? The secret, you know? Oh, it was a book, I guess. It was a book first. I remember it as a DVD. Yeah, it was also a film. If you guys don't know what the secret is, uh, it is based on the belief of the law of attraction, which claims that thoughts can change a person's life direct directly. This was, dude, the secret was like, it was like the secret walked so spiritual people on TikTok could run, you know? It was all just like, dude, fucking, if you think about it, if you actually just think about it, then you can, then you can have it, you know? The only reason poor people exist is that they don't think about not being poor, you know? The only reason that poverty exists is because people just don't know the secret. You know, they're not they're not thinking about stuff. You know? It's a lot of horse shit, man. Sorry, I'm going to go on record and say the secret is a bunch of horse shit. No, my freaking phone's going off. Um but Yeah, there's like this huge the marketing around it was genius, I'll say that. The secret. Cuz you see it and you're like, "Well, what is it? I want to know." You know? And the people who, when you ask people who've seen the movie, they're like, I'm not telling. I can't tell you. And it, then it won't happen. It won't come true. And you're like, oh, okay. So it's make-believe. Oh, <laughs> got it. Oh, we're just playing make-believe here? Okay. That's fine with me. 2006, it came out. So um, really, really showing my age here. Speaking of my age, it's my birthday tomorrow. It's my birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to Kurt. Happy birthday to Kurt. Yeah, man. I'm going to be 27. The big 2-7, man. It's huge. It's so weird, man. I remember a few years ago, I was watching a Cody Ko video. Um... And it was, he made videos, he made a video when he turned 27 and he was like, man, I'm 27. I can't believe it. And I remember watching that and I was like, oh, that's crazy. There's no, I'm never going to be that age. I'm never going to be 27. (laughs) And here I am. 27, man. It's crazy. I'm in my late 20s. I'm going to be in my late 20s, you know, because early 20s is like, you know, uh, Maybe 20, 21, 22. Uh, Mid 20s, 23, 24, 25. And then late 20s, you got 26. Oh, no, maybe 26 is kind of in the middle, right? I'd say like 20 to 23 is like early 20s. Four to six is probably, probably the mid and then seven to nine. Um. That's late. You know, just a quick math for you guys. But yeah, I'm going to be in my late 20s, man. And uh, that's pretty crazy. It feels weird. Um, It feels especially weird because I... Literally a few days ago, I had to deal with, like, drama on my Minecraft server. And hey, I feel a little too old for that. (laughs) You know? I'm 27... I'm going to be 20. I'm practically 27 now. I'm closer to it than 26. So 27 and I got, and I got to deal with Minecraft drama. Uh Uh-oh. (laughs) Uh-oh. 
<laughs> just me being like, hey, yeah, I just, it's, you figure it out, you know? But those were just the, those were just the problems, man. Adulting, you know? <laughs> adulting. That's tough. That's, that's adulting for you, man. Um, but no, I feel like, dude, age is so age is so weird, man. It's like I don't feel twenty seven at all. I feel like I've been twenty. I feel when someone asks me my age, like how old I am, for a second in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm twenty two. Oh, I'm twenty two. Like for a, for <laughs> seriously for a whole second, I'm like I'm twenty two. And then once it catches up, like that thought gets sent to my mouth, and by the time I realize, I can like stop it. By the time it gets out of my mouth, um. I go, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, get back in here. Get back in here, me saying 22. I'm 20, I'm fucking 26, you know? Um, okay, so I, got, I found this article that was like 26 things I've learned in 26 years. And, you know, first off, lists, making a list, that's so 26. That is so 26 of you to do that. Make a list. Here's a listicle. <laughs> Top 27 toothbrushes that you need to have before your 30th birthday. It's like, why do you need, you only need one. Why do you need to have 26 of them? They're like, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, let's go through these. I want to go through these and see if I fucking, if I can agree with any of these, you know? Um, <clears throat> so this is what it took 26 years for this guy, Todd Brisson. Todd Brisson, all right? Took him 26 years to fucking to learn all this stuff. He's got number one, intimate relationship is important. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess. I mean, not really. You know, not everybody needs that. Um, so number one, false. Many, many, many... Okay, number two. Many, many, many people simply don't care about you. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true. I'd agree with that, you know? Even though I have a lot of people who do care about me, luckily, most people on Earth, high percentage, they don't really care what I'm doing, you know? Um, dude, and here we go. Here we go, man. Number three, Dilbert comics were terrible. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dilbert comics were terrible. What are you talking about, man? Yeah, it took me 26 years to just finally... You're so brave, man. <laughs> Dilbert comics, I'm not, the, I'm not the biggest fan of. Yeah, you're 26. You gotta be at least 50 to, like, to even know what Dilbert comics are. Dude, also, okay, I'm going to scroll down because a lot of these are just like, dude, milk is from cows. One of the things I learned about when it took me 26 years to figure out, dairy milk actually comes from cows. Yeah. I thought it rained. I thought it rained milk. I thought there was a big titty in the sky that sort of rained milk, and then there was a little milk boys with buckets, and they run around and catch all the the sky sky milk, and then they just and then they put in little in cartons and send it off. But no, I'm 26. And I learned that milk comes from cow. Yo, you think that's why aliens abduct cows all the time? Because they just love that, you know, suckle it, suckle the milk off, you know? Aliens love milk. Oh, scratch my neck and now it's red. Uh, most sensitive seed in the world. Okay, number seven, what do we got? Fame is hard. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's true. Fame is hard, and that because every twenty-six-year-old is is famous, and that's you know you could be a nobody when you're twenty-five, but if you as soon as you turn twenty-six, famous, <laughs> and it's hard, you know. Okay, a lot of these are just like the most basic shit ever. Like eleven, writing a book is a lot of work. Hey, did you know writing a book is a lot of work? Uh? Yeah, man. It's a book. It's hundreds of pages. The fuck? 
Literally, number 12 could be poo smells. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does, sir. You're absolutely right about that. Poo, poo fucking reeks. Um, the return of the internet pop-up is super annoying. Okay, man. Okay, dude. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is my favorite. 25. I can eat eggs for breakfast every day. That's one less decision to make. Sure. And then number 26, except on Saturday, because pancakes are bae. Boo. Boo. Oh, boo. Bad. You're bad. You're a bad writer. Don't. This is why people hate millennials, man. This right here. <laughs> this is why people fucking hate millennials, man. Is pa- dude calling anything bay? Like, it's one thing to be like, yo, that's my bay. Or like, yo, bay, what are you doing? Right? Like, that's sure. But to be like, something is bay? No. No, thank you. You know? Sorry, I got to switch my headphone thing around. Oh, that's better. It's better when I can hear my own voice. I got to figure it out. Okay. But yeah, when you call st- when you say stuff is bay, when you're like, okay, that is bay, right? If when you use when you use it as a as an ag- as an adjective, no thank you. Don't yeah. Here's 26 things I learned uh in my 26 years of being alive. 1 through 20 Okay, how about this? Here's a, here's a list. Here's a definitive list of things I've learned in my 26 years of being alive. Number one, uh, you know, get, get some rest, you know, get a good night's sleep 25 times, you know, 25 times, get a, get some, you know, sleep as much as you can. <laughs> I don't follow that advice, but you need it. And then 26, uh, don't use bay as an adjective. And then, and there you go. There are my, those are my definitive lessons. <laughs> Pancakes are bay as fuck. No, they're not. The breakfast. Unless you're saying, unless you're calling, unless your friend Michael Bay is bay, is being bay, then yeah. Dude, that Michael's bay as fuck. Yo, you're so bay right now, dude. This is, this is my impression of when I, if I ever meet Michael Bay. Yo, you're Bay F, you're being Bay F right now, dude. Yo, that movie that you directed is so Bay, dude. <laughs> you're Bay as fuck. Yo, Michael, you're Bay as fuck. Transformers, you tra- you're transforming my fe- uh, my feelings for you into something magical. That was my heart. That was the sound my heart made when it transformed. How'd they make that sound effect in the in the in the in the fucking Transformers movies? You know? I need to get that sound effect on my fucking soundboard, dude. <laughs> whenever we Whenever I talk about anything Transformers related, I can just go you know? Or if I talk about a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Cause that's essentially what they're doing. Caterpillars are transformers. Transformers, caterpillars in disguise. Okay, man. All right. Not everything that pops into your head, you have to say, Curtis. It's fine. You can just you can just let things go. You don't have to say everything. Yo, shout out to more. I'm drinking a folks, I'm drinking a Tim Hortons cold brew right now. They just got cold brew. And yeah, cold brew came out, or I mean, cold brew became popular in what, like 2013, 2014? So they're a little behind the curve. And that's fine. That's why we love them. That's why we love Tim Hortons. They're shitty. They suck. But you know what? Their coffee's sweet as hell. 
and they're everywhere. So that's why we keep going back. And it's pretty bomb, dude. It's not that bad. We got two of these and a bagel. It was like 10 bucks. Starbucks, that would have been like 25, you know? And I know that because I used to work. I used to work at Starbucks. And that shit was so expensive. And one time my manager got pushed. <laughs> one time my manager got pushed at Starbucks. Um, someone's at my door. Who could it be? Oh, it's a postman. Wait. Oh, yes. Wait. Okay. Yeah. One time there was this guy who came into Starbucks and uh, he, he needed to use the bathroom. Um, but he came in like, I forget. He like swore at someone. He was being, he was causing a ruckus because he was downtown Toronto. Um, people be causing ruckuses down there. And um, yeah, my, my manager, um, who sh- she was like, I don't know, like four foot nine. Like she was very short. Um, but she was like, you need to leave. You need to leave. She was like, you need to get out of here. And then uh, he pushed her into the into the fucking pastry case. Um, she was okay, but, you know. She was like, whoa. She's <laughs> got fucking pushed into a bunch of pastries, you know. Nothing like getting shoved into a fucking... A fucking lemon poppy seed loaf, I'll tell you that. Nothing like getting pushed into a loaf. Um, Man, I'm losing my mind. What's been going on lately? Streaming, uh, streaming a lot, you know. Dude, bullshit, actually. Some bullshit going on. You know? I got, I got my, I got, I got, I got a beef, you know? I got beef with Twitch right now, dude. So I'm gonna I'm a Twitch affiliate right now, um, and I I want to be a partner, okay, but I'm not streaming enough. I need I need to stream for 25 hours in the past 30 days. So I was like sick. Here we go. Right. Yesterday I streamed for like four hours. Because I was like, I got to get my time up, right? I did the math and everything. I streamed for the right amount of time and some. And I still, because it's in the 30-day period, it like subtracted it. Because 30 days ago, like the time that I had, it like dwindled down because I streamed. You know what I mean? So I still need four more hours, which is a pain in the ass. But it's all good. You know, these are the pro- these are tough adult- adulting problems, you know? Bullshit, man. Let me be a partner. Come on. Let me be partners. Let me be a partner. Howdy, partner. Come on. You know? I just got to do a bunch of, like, bullshit, random-ass Twitch streams just to kill time so I can be a partner. And they'll never know because you'll never... And you'll never tell them. Don't... Because I trust... I You know, I trust you guys. Um, but yeah, I've been, been, been streaming a lot. Streaming Minecraft, which is a lot of fun. Um... Uh, what else been going on? Fucking not much, man. I haven't been doing anything. <laughs> um, actually, big news. Big news, actually. Actually, big news. Apparently, if all goes to plan, um, I'll be able to get my first COVID vaccine dose by the end of May, by the end of this month. Hey, yo, what's DJ Vaccine in the house? Put your arms out. <laughs> Put your arms out. Put them in the air. Wave them around in a circle. Get the blood circulating. Why are you hating? Get the blood circulating. You know? DJ Vaccine. Pfizer, I hardly know her. You know? So I'm excited. I'm very excited to get my freaking vaccine so life can go back to kind of normal. And I cannot, and I can like see my fucking friends again, man. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get 
dose the fuck up, man. One in each arm, you know? Hey, dude, straight up, if they had to put put it in your eyeball, I'd be like, okay. There would be no hesitation. No hesitation at all. I'd be like, yes, do it. I'm 22 years old. Put it in both my eyes. <laughs> yes, I'm 22. Put it in both my eyes. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm 26. I ca- yeah, I just had to get it out, you know? <laughs> oh, man. But that's it, man. Same old, same old. Pretty exciting stuff. I'm 26. Um, you know what? Let's change the subject. We'll talk about some news stuff really quick. So I've been seeing this. I've been seeing this. Uh, this trend sort of on Twitch. Speaking of Twitch, um, and and TikTok, people have been talking about it on TikTok. Um, so there's this thing that people are doing on Twitch called um, hot tub streams. Um. Where, okay, I'll just read the title of this. Female stars raking in cash from hot tub live stream craze on Twitch. A controversial trend of hot tub live streams on Twitch is making female stars plenty of money. But, but it has its critics. Um, yeah, so apparently, so girls will, um, you know, they'll hang out in hot, because apparently Twitch guidelines say you're not allowed to like stream in like lingerie and shit. But if you were in like, if you were like swimming or something, um. Then it's okay to wear like a bathing suit because it's like a pr- appropriate setting, right? So, some girls have found like a loop, a loophole, if you will, right? Um, so they're streaming in hot tubs or like kiddie pools, um, so they can like wear bikinis and stuff. And 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 yeah, people are upset because you know when girls are you know comfortable with their sexuality and their and their. And they're and they're you know they're show you know they're showing their body because they want to on their own terms. When girls do that, people get pretty upset because um, you know misogyny, um, especially on Twitch, bro. It's fucking gamer nerds, dude. Um, do not, do not go in hot tub. Not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> I want to see your boobs, but not like this. Not with your consent. You know? Fucking dweebs, bro. I found... I was like, dude, I saw one TikTok. I saved it. Um, You know, because it was just classic misogyny. Here we go. Hot tub streamers. I can't fucking compete. I just can't fucking compete. Yeah. So it's a bunch of... Hot tub streamers, and then it's a guy, and it says, Me, a small streamer chasing my dreams. I can't yeah. So there's a lot of that. That's like one of the main critiques is like, it's taking away viewership from like small creators who want, who are trying their hardest to achieve their dreams. And it's like, bro, you think someone going to a hot tub stream to see a girl, to see like a pretty girl, you know, do her thing, right? You think someone going there is going to go watch your fucking stream if they're not there? No, no fucking way, dude. Well, it's either... It's either go watch this uh, Twitch streamer who I think is attractive or funny even. Who cares? Like, it's not even an attractive thing. Maybe they just like them, right? It's like either that or this small streamer playing Fortnite. Uh, It could go either way, you know? It's just such a shitty take. like, Like, what do you want, you know? This is like, this is what confuses me the most. And I talked, I was talking to Sean about this too. It's like, on TikTok even, it's like when girls are like, you know, showing like their body and stuff. And on Twitch now, people they're like showing off their body 
which is fine because it's theirs, right? They can do whatever the fuck they want. And they're making so much money, and that's fucking sick for them, right? But, like, what do you want? Don't you want to see that? <laughs> right? So why do people, like, shaming girls? It's, like, it's just so weird because, like, the same people who are pissed at, like, what's this girl's name? Amaranth or whatever. If her, like, the same people who are pissed that she's doing this on Twitch, if her, like, nudes got leaked, they'd be fucking all over it, man. They'd be fucking jerking the little wieners to it. Because it's all about, like, if a girl shows off, you know, if a girl's being comfortable and showing, in, you know, in charge of her sexuality, she's showing, you know, her body on her terms, then no, 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 you're using, you're using your body for attention. And you can't be doing that. But then when someone else is like, when someone, when someone violates them essentially and like shares their body that they don't want out in their way, it's like, well, eh, that, this is cool now. <laughs> you know? Just say, hey, women and go, you know? I don't know. It's just another way to like for people to hate on women, you know? And if it's like, you know, all the power to him. It's not fuck. It's not hurting anybody. Right? I honestly don't think there's way worse shit on Twitch you can fucking look at. You know? I don't know, dude. I want to see... I want to see, like, the main criticisms, but... Um... Okay, some view as being too sexual. Um, went on Twitch and seriously got confused as to what app I was actually on. What in the actual fuck happened to Twitch? I really want to know. All right, man. And this XQC, XQC guy, the most watched broadcaster on Twitch. Um, dude, also, whoever wrote this, broadcaster? Yeah, you're fucking nice. Broadcasting live from Twitch. Um, he weighed in calling the trend the most pathetic thing we've seen on Twitch in forever. Whoa. Yeah, man, there was a guy who went on. Okay. Yeah, I just like, it's so, I just wanted to talk about it because it's so frustrating. It's like, um, what are you pissed at, right? People are going to watch it if they want to watch it. You don't have to. And if you're bummed that, you know, that you're not getting anyone watching your fucking Twitch streams, it's not because of them. It's not because of the people doing fucking hot tub streams, man. Right? Don't, (laughs) don't blame them. You know? That's so weird. If these girls, these girls weren't in hot tubs, I'd be fucking, I'd be number one on Twitch, man. (laughs) I'd be number one. You get in a hot tub, man. If you're so fucking bummed about it, you know? Get in the hot tub for yourself. Don't hate the player, man. Hate the game. Um. All right. We can... All right, let's move on. Let's get a nice palate cleanse. Okay, so this is the main thing I wanted to talk about this, this week. Um, it sort of ties into you know, me getting older and my age group, um, there's, um, there's a term that has been coined, um, wait, where's the article? (laughs) I lost it. Um, oh, okay, hold on, I'll find it, I'll find it. Okay, so there's a term that's been coined, um, and it's and it's and it's it's become my favorite thing. All right, I'm I'm a big fan of it, and I think it's it's, it's a lot of uh, I relate a lot to it. I think it's very funny. Uh, so you've probably you might have heard of it before, but it's called chuggy. Have you guys you guys heard chuggy? Um, New York Times actually wrote an article about chuggy. Um, 
A new term to describe a certain aesthetic is gaining popularity on TikTok. So, Chugi um, sort of describes, okay, it's not quite basic, okay, which can describe someone who is a conformist or perhaps generic in their tastes, and it's not quite uncool. Uh, it's not embarrassing or even always negative. Chugi can be used broadly to describe someone who is out of date or trying too hard. And while a lot of chuggy things are associated with millennial women, uh, the term can be applied to anyone of any gender and any age. So the little collage I have up here, they got like, or what are these, like Sorel boots, I think. Um, they got a Dunder Mifflin t-shirt, a Minion, um, Pinterest logo. EOS fucking lip balm, a girl, a mug that says girl boss. There's an Instagram called Chug Life um, where they post things that are <laughs> chuggy. Um, okay, cruises. Cruise ships are definitely chuggy, you know? Chug mobiles. That's like, yeah, you got to be like, to genuinely like plan to go on a cruise. Yeah, you got to be like, that's pretty chuggy to be like, yeah, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to go on this big boat full of other people and just kind of move around for a while. Um, dude, this font. Okay. There's some, okay. There's a lot of chuggy fonts on, especially in like places like Home Sense. Like the really, this font right here, the really skinny font. <laughs> that is so chuggy. That and like the cursive one, the big cursive one that says like, whispering is like your heart crying. And you're like, yes, dude. Put that on my fucking wall. <laughs> but the thinner the font is like this, the chuggier you are, right? Like, if I went over to someone's house and all their stuff had this font on it, dude, you better watch out. I was like, it's like the movie Get Out, but with Chug. <laughs> yeah, dude. The Masked Singer. The Masked Singer is very Chuggy. I feel like there's, like, it's easier to be, I'm sure there are younger Chuggy people, right? But it's so, I feel like most Chugs are. Um, like, like my age or older, um, because like this, all this shit is stuff that was like popular when I was in high school, you know, I don't know if it's still popular in high school because I'm not in high school anymore, but all of this shit was like, this is like the most 2012 stuff ever. Yeah, yeah, man, these, dude. These bikinis? So chug, man. Smirnoff raspberry. <laughs> I just think it's like, it's such, this, I mean, literally, if I was scrolling through this page and I didn't know what chug was, I was like, oh, this is like, this could be someone I went to high school with. Because it was all this, man. Anybody who goes... Anybody who like stays in the town that they went to high school in, for the most part, there's a higher, per the longer, <laughs> the longer you stay in the town you went to high school in, the the higher your chances of becoming a chug are, you know, you know, it gets chugier, the risk of chug, it, it increases. Yeah, Lana Del Rey. She's pretty chuggy. She fucking, date she's dating a cop. So that's the most fucking chug thing you can do, I think. Um, okay. They have like the Chug Life Instagram page. They posted, uh, <laughs> captions that are chuggy. Um, I'm feeling 22 on 22nd birthdays. I feel like that's fine. I feel like everybody does that. I feel, I think I did that. Um, but I think I did it ironically, but I still did it. So, you know, it doesn't matter. Dude, this one's my favorite. 
I did captioning something. I did a thing after dying or cutting your hair, dude. That's this dude. I talked about this before on my podcast. I don't know what episode, like a while ago. I remember. I remember being so pissed off whenever I see people, people say like, "I did a thing." You did a thing. What'd you What'd you do? Be say what you did. You know. That had, or like or like po- posting a an engagement photo, captioning it like she said yes, you know, or he said or yeah or I said yes. That's so chuggy. She said yes. To what? Dessert. <laughs> she said no to the. She said no to the ring I gave her. She said no to my pr- proposal. But she said yes to dessert, so I mean, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, so that's like, yeah, I guess it is a, it's like an aesthetic name sort of for like girl bosses, you know, millennial girl bro- girl boss. Um, but it's it's a. I feel like it's so interesting to me because like being chuggy, you know, being chuggy, it's like growing up, um, sort of like the internet when I grew up was so, it was so weird, man. Like it was such a different thing. And I know, and I literally know it was not that long ago. Like I'm saying this like it was 50 years ago, but the internet moved so quickly that it literally kind of (laughs) was. Like people just said whatever and they posted whatever. Like I you, you would just post like like a like a fucking like flower that you saw on the ground. You'd be like and you put a Instagram filter on it, that's it. You know? It was like so different. And like I I feel like it's like I'm only I only like I feel like the only reason I'm not very chuggy is because I'm like, I'm a YouTuber and I'm like, and I sort of like have to try my best to stay current, right? So I can like talk about relevant things. But man, if I didn't do comedy or YouTube or anything like that, I'd be chuggy for sure. I would, you know? If I didn't have the part of my brain that was like, I need to make videos. I need to make people laugh. I need to make dumb shit. You know, if I didn't have that, I'd be chuggy. I'd be the I'd be, I'd be the most fucking chuggy guy ever, man. I'd be wearing cargo shorts right now. You know, because <laughs> male chug exists too. You know, it's not like it's not. It's not, I mean, again, this is another re- way to like, for people to hate on women, I guess, but I want to, I, I feel, I feel like male chug is worse, <laughs> you know, dude, like I say man cave, like man cave font, like what's that fucking font? You know, it's like wood, anything wood burned, anything wood burned. Yeah, dude, wood burning is so chug. If you have a fucking wood burn sign that says this is like the man cave, dude, what happens in the man cave stays in the man cave. Oh, dude, chug overload. Yeah, give me, give me, give me 20 cc's of trendy, dude. This guy's, this guy fucking OD'd on chug. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Yeah, like anything, most, like having too much wood in your house that you don't need, that's chuggy. Bass Pro Shops, you know. V for, dude, V for Vendetta masks. That is male chug. Having a V for Vendetta mask on the wall, dude. What else is male chug, you know? Because that's the shit that's, that's bad news. Dude, Henley's. Henley shirts, if you see a guy, if I see a guy in a Henley, I'm crossing the street, you know? I feel danger. 
I feel danger from this fucking, from people who, from dudes and Henleys. You know? Just have a polo. Wear a polo, man. Looks way better. Who's the girl who came up with the term? Her name on TikTok is uh, Webkins Whore 143. So. <laughs> That's a great name. Um, but I think there's so, it's so fascinating to me, man. I got, I think, I hope this term like catches on because it can, it encapsulates like so much of like a group of people that this didn't have a name before. Right. Literally everybody I went to high school with old Navy. That's Chugi. old Chugi. There's like a lot of overlap with like, I don't know, just early internet, like early, like 2011, 2012 internet stuff that sort of just like, and people just like didn't keep up with internet trends. So they were like, I, I'm just going to keep doing what I keep doing, you know? Scumbag Steve, you know? <laughs> but the thing is, man, I say this all the time as well, but you know, Someone who's like a, you know, an ultra chuggy person, they're way happier than I am, you know? They have it figured out, you know? Blissful ignorance, man. They are having the best time. They have the sickest life. They're so happy. I wish, I wish, you know? What's that fucking book? Is it flowers flowers for Algernon? Am I an idiot? Is that the right one? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's about a guy who gets smarter, right? They're doing a, a, a <laughs> they're doing an experiment on him to make him smarter, right? And as he gets smarter and smarter, he gets like way more depressed, right? He's way more sad and like alone. Um, cause he can't form like, like his, his relationships are just like falling apart. He can't relate to other people. Right. And that's the same shit. This is modern. You know, this is an updated flowers for Algernon thing. We got to do an up. I got to write a fucking book. I even though I know writing a book is hard cause you know, I learned that in my 26 years of life, but this is the same thing, right? The less, like the more, the less chug you get the sadder you are, right? If you're chewed all the, if you're chewed up, you know, if you, if you've been chewed up, I've been chewed up and spit it up and booed off stage. If you're all chewed up, man, if you're chewed, if you're getting chewy all the, all, all the time, you know, you got a man cave, you know, you know, your wife works for an MLM, dude, you're happy. You're so happy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm making crazy general generalizations here. I know not that's not true for everybody. I'm sure they get sad too, but as a whole, you know, I think you you know what I'm trying to get at. Um holy shit. Um but I just want to get the word out there, man. I want to talk about I want to get the I and you need to embrace your chug, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. I think we all have a little bit of chuggy inside of us, right? And I think that's what we need to end it on, right? We all need to embrace it, you know? I golf, man. I go, I like golfing. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's like the sport I landed on. Golf. Dude, what the fuck? That's so chuggy, man. I like having like, like one beer. You know, I wear slippers, right? I'm pretty chewed myself sometimes and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just nice to have a term for it. You know, you got to take the good with the bad. Um, I was just so fascinated by it and I hope it catches on. I hope you guys use it, you know, um, 
Let's do, let's do some advice. Um, uh, we could do some advice. Uh, uh, Damn, I need a jingle for my advice segment. Jingle, 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 jingle for my advice segment. My advice segment. Jingle for my advice segment. Um, also, I'm looking at Chug on Urban Dictionary, like C-H-O-O-G. Um, and it says someone that looks like a crackhead. So that's fun. Also, Poog was a slang term in, in Ontario. Poog means, uh, Poog stands for piece of Oshawa garbage. If you guys, so there's some slang for you. Because if any of you guys know about, about Oshawa, if, you guys, if any of my listeners know about Oshawa, then you will understand. Oshawa is a lawless town, a lawless city. It's like Matt. It's like a city in Mad Max, dude. All right, this is the advice segment. You guys send in advice to very really good at gmail.com, and I do my best to help you out. I'm not a professional, but I do my best. Um, all right, uh, this is fake names. I won't dox anybody here. Uh, this one is from Martha Martha Stewart. Wow, Martha Martha Stewart. Hi Curtis, I'm really going through it tonight, and I figured I'd ask for advice. On since you seem like a cool guy. Oh, advice on this since you seem like a cool guy. Uh, Do you think it's ever too late to learn how to read, Curtis? Because you fucking can. Do you think it's ever too late to make friends? Um, I'm 20 years old and I spent a lot of time wishing I had a friend group or at least one close friend who I could talk to. Because of some weird circumstances and or bad decisions on my part, I haven't gone to a real university yet, just community college. And by the time I'm planning on rolling, I'm also planning on having my own place. So it's not like I'll ever experience dorm life, which is where most people my age seem to make a lot of friends. All my friends from high school have moved on to their own friend groups, and I'm just kind of chilling on my own? I don't know the best way to phrase it. Do you know... Oh, wait, sorry. Do you think it's ever too late in life to get out there and have a group of friends? No. No, not at all. No. I... It's... I resonated a lot with this. is why I picked it, but... Um... I took a year off, um, you know, between high school and college. Um, and, you know, I was worried. You know, a lot of my friends I just stopped talking to. Um, they got their own friends. And then when I went to university, I was in a dorm, right, for like three days. I made friends with this guy named Peter. He was great. He was a really nice guy. Um, and I could, I, I, you know, I could see a a long friendship with him, but he, you know, I left university after three days because I, I changed my mind and I got scared. Um, and I went to college. I went to comedy college, basically comedy writing. Um, so, and there's so much pressure, man. In the first like week or two, you got to make friends because as soon as I told, uh, this guy, Peter, that I was going, that I was leaving. He was like, oh, seriously, man? <laughs> like, I had all my, I fucking, I was, I was betting on you to be my university friend. And then I left. Um, you know, I should hit him, I should hit him up. Um, but no, there's so much pressure, you know? And I was scared too, because I was like, I missed out. I missed out on the first week of college, man. I'm not going to make any friends, but, you know? Just being in the class with people, you're going to make friends. You're going to, it's never too late because I showed up late to my program. I made friends, you know, I met Jacob first day and we kind of like, you know, we, we keep, we became friends pretty much the first day. And then my friends with Dean, like later on, um, and they're still my friends like now and they're always going to be my friends. Um, you know, so, you know, I don't think, I don't, I don't think it's, I know it's scary, but if you're just, if you put yourself out there, man, you know, it's scary, but you will make friends. I promise. Um, but I, so I believe in you, you know, if you're having trouble, you could join like a club, you know, something you like, you can find other people who also like stuff like that. Right. Like if you're into, if you're into freaking comic books, maybe join a comic book club or start one, you know? There you go. And you already have something in common, right? That's huge. Um, all right, next one. This next question comes from a uh, Colin. Thanks, Colin. Looky here, Curdy boy. 
I'm wondering if you have any tips on gaining self-confidence. I always find myself comparing myself to other people online and in real life. No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to turn that part off, that part of my brain off. Um, do you or maybe even Jenna have any advice on loving yourself? I know that's kind of a vague question, but it's become a big jump in the road when it comes to my relationships and self-worth. I hope you're having a wonderful day, stinky boy. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty easy when you uh, when you're sort of wicked, stunningly handsome, you know. <laughs> so no, I've never had a problem with that. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Goodbye. I'm just kidding. Um, no, man, I uh, self confidence is tough, man. I I have a problem with it all the time, you know. Some days, you know, I'll get like little glimmers, you know, of what it feels like to love yourself, right? I get a little, I get a little taste of it, you know? It's like only a little taste. Like it tastes like if I was, like how little you taste, like if you were like yawning at a party and then someone like tripped with a plate of hors d'oeuvres and like a shrimp sort of like, uh, like ran along your tongue. It, it, the, the shrimp fell off the plate of hors d'oeuvres and sort of grazed along your tongue and you get a little taste of shrimp. That's sort of what I feel like sometimes on my best days. I'm like, oh, I look pretty good today. I'm a, I'm a good person. I've made good choices and, um, and I'm funny, right? That's rare. I get a, I get a, I get a shrimp rubbing on me sometimes and that's cool. Um, and I've, you know, I think it's just learning to appreciate those, appreciating the shrimp when you get it, you know? You know, it's not always going to be a shrimp cocktail. You know, you're blessed if you can get a cocktail, you know? Waiter, please let me get a cocktail of my own, you know? That'd be great. But sometimes you just got to, you got to accept the shrimp grazing along your freaking buds, dude. You got to accept the shrimp just sort of grazing along your taste buds, and that's all you're going to get for a bit. But to help maybe increase the frequency of that, Maybe, you know, I found the way that you dress can really have a lot of sort of, um, it can help you a lot, um, you know, like getting a, a nice outfit on, you know, we are wearing your favorite shoes. So you look nice. It's like, okay, all right, this is what it's, look at me, you know, that can do wonders. Even I'm wearing pants right now. I'm wearing jeans. I'm so sorry. I'm wearing my chinos for the first time in like a, a week because I've just been wearing sweatpants every day. And I'm like, I feel great, you know? Um, But no, just honestly, dude, remember everybody deals with this. And the cool thing about you is there's n- there's literally only one of you, man. There's no, there's no other. You're the only... Colin. So that's one thing of itself, you know? Still, there's only one. There can be only one, you know? Can you imagine if there was another one? That'd be a nightmare. Constant competition? No, thank you. You're only in competition with yourself, dude. And that's the fucking real secret, dude. That's the secret. How's that for a fucking callback? Dude, I'll wrap this up like a goddamn birthday gift for me because my birthday's tomorrow. All right, guys. I'll wrap it up here. We we're going to get to a Curtis Corner segment, but I was too focused on the chug, dude. Um, But all right. I appreciate you listening. This is episode 140-something. 142, I think. Right? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's the end of the episode. 142. Yep. Nailed it. All right. Thank you for listening. Like and comment. Subscribe. All that stuff. You know, check me out on Twitch. Subscribe to Curtis Pogger. Uh, That's it. All right. Love you. Appreciate you. Seriously, thank you so much for listening. And, um, yeah. I will see you next week. All right.